My name is William Henry Stahl and I'm the creative director on the Full Spectrum Warrior franchise and what I'm going to be showing you today is a little bit of the new versus multiplayer mode that we've added to Full Spectrum Warrior. We're really excited about this. We think that in the same way that uh, FSW1 innovated in single player, FSW10 Hammers will continue to innovate in the multiplayer mode. The multiplayer mode that we've created is eight missions, and they're actual missions. We didn't feel that having uh, an abstract model like Capture the Flag or Deathmatch really was appropriate to the franchise. So whenever you select a versus multiplayer mission, it's a real mission in that it has a story. It'll have action cutscenes and cinematics. It'll open with a cinematic. Each side of the struggle will have an objective. We have the outpost. And then whoever wins will have a winning cinematic for that side. In the versus mode, you can play as either the coalition force or as the insurgency force. And in fact, in some of the missions, it's insurgency versus insurgency. Enemy! The coalition force operates a lot like it does in the single player campaign. You control units as teams or as groups. They're much more organized. They have tremendous firepower. They're pretty much akin to the sledgehammer. The downside to playing as the coalition force is that they're bound by rules of engagement, meaning that they really can't incur a lot of civilian casualty. And they also don't have a lot of reserve units, meaning that when you take casualties, it's much more difficult to get reinforcements to the battlefield. Finally. When you're playing as the insurgency force, they operate as individuals. They're much less organized. And they also don't carry as much firepower. They're not really capable of putting a lot of stopping power on the coalition forces individually. But their greatest strength is just sheer numbers and their ability to spawn in new units pretty much at will. They're, they're kind of like the hornet's nest. They're not really bound by rules of engagement. In fact, civilians and NPC fighters are almost a currency or a resource for them. They can move out into the world and uh, turn uh, neutral NPCs against the coalition forces. Forces. Come, soldier, and join the Mujahideen. It's almost like turning air, whole areas of a map hostile against the coalition forces. And the coalition force really has to be careful and watch its back because insurgency fighters can come out of anywhere. One of the best aspects of the multiplayer mode is how it utilizes a lot of our new features. For instance, the tank battles. In many of the multiplayer maps, you'll have the Bradley fighting unit, the BMP unit. These two units control just like a single unit on a team. You tell it where to go with the cursor, you tell it where to fire. But it changes the dynamic of the multiplayer mission greatly because the fighters always have to be conscious of these big lumbering heavily armored tanks but each side will have special units either an RPG unit or an AT anti tank unit or fighter who can attack the tank and take it out one of the other great features really utilized well in the multiplayer mode is the interiors. You use a lot of interiors when you're playing. You use them for concealment. You use them also for the, the advantage of having the elevated fire position. You can really get the jump on people by hiding out inside buildings, running up to windows, and catching them by surprise. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things you really have to be conscious of are the spawn points you own or the safe houses. They're identified in the world with a little sword symbol that changes color based upon who owns that particular safe house. And one of the major strategic aspects aspects is capturing spawn points. When you capture a spawn point, you can spawn in units by bringing up your battle map. Your battle map will show you where all the spawn points are in the world uh, and will highlight the ones that you currently own. To spawn in reinforcements, it's simply a matter of selecting a spawn point and the unit will come in at that point. As the coalition force, when you Kazavak your units out of the battlefield, the medic will come in from the closest available spawn point and he will drag the soldier out to the closest available spawn point. So it's always in the best interest of the coalition force to be actively seeking out nearby spawn points and turning them in favor of your side. So that's a little bit about the new versus mode we've added to Full Spectrum Warrior 10 Hammers. It's something we're really excited about. We think it's going to be a lot of fun. I really couldn't get into everything that's in the new mode in this demo, but if you like what you saw here, I hope you check it out when the game comes out this spring.